This episode is sponsored by Wix, the easiest, most innovative way to build a custom website for free. With just a few simple questions, Wix's patented Artificial Design Intelligence, or ADI, automatically builds you your own awesome, unique website in minutes. It's super easy and fun. Click the link below in my video's description to start building your website for free. Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of night vision optics from normal images. This is an update of a tutorial I did many years ago on an earlier version of Photoshop. This update is more streamlined, gives you much more control, and allows you to replace images without having to redo the effects. Open an evening or night image that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to adjust its size and resolution so your results will look similar to mine. To do this, go to Image and Image Size. Make its resolution 150 pixels per inch and its height 1000 pixels. Its width can be any amount. Then click OK. To see it bigger on your canvas, Press Ctrl or Command and the plus key on your keyboard a couple of times. Next, we'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively as well as allow us to replace it with another image without having to redo the effects. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Your results will look best if the mid-tones of your overall image aren't too bright. In this particular case, it's not necessary to adjust the mid-tones since they are already relatively dark. If the mid-tones in your image are a bit too bright, open your Levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command L and drag the input mid-tones to the right. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Black White to remove all the color. Click back on the Adjustment Layer icon and this time click Channel Mixer. For the Output Channel, click Green. Increase the green to 127%. Click the Adjustment Layer icon once again and click Color Balance. Click Midtones. In the magenta green field, type in 100. And in the blue yellow field, type in minus 40. Make your photo active and go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel and click OK. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Texture folder and click Grain. The grain type is Clumped, the intensity is 30, and the contrast is 50. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. Close the Texture folder and open the Distort folder. Click Diffuse Glow. Make the graininess 0, the Glow Amount 8, and the Clear Amount 10. Your image now has all the characteristics of night vision optics. A slightly blurred heavy grain in the shadows and midtones, blown out brightness in the highlights, and of course, the unique acid green color. If you want to replace the photo with another, double click the thumbnail of the smart object to open the original photo. Go to File, 
and open. Find and click the replacement photo and click open. Go to image and image size. As before, make its resolution 150 pixels per inch and its height 1000 pixels. We want to place it into the Smart Objects Source Photo. To do this, press Ctrl or Command A to select it and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Open the Smart Objects Source Photo and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the new photo onto the document. Close the tab of the Smart Object and when you see this message, click Yes to save the changes. Open back your night vision document, which now shows your new photo with the night vision effects applied to it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.